Hey guys, so today I'm making a long time coming video. I'm going to be talking about the social transition that no one really talks about or prepares you when going on T. When you go on T, there's a form you sign kind of stating that you understand the changes that are coming. Obviously, all of these changes are all physical. Some of the changes you get are emotional, but these are things that are very talked about that you expect. I'm not sure why this isn't talked about. I haven't been able to find many videos online with people talking about their social changes. As a trans man, you have such a unique experience of experiencing the world initially as someone who's perceived as a female, um, and then you transition to a world where you're perceived as a male. And trans people, trans men specifically, have this really unique experience of experiencing their patriarchy firsthand through their gender, through how they're treated, initially as a female and then as a male. So the change I have felt and seen is, is drastic. You never get a chance to experience how your life would be for a day if you swap gender for that day. The difference is real. Um, and I am so aware of the privilege I have that I've transitioned from female to male. I can't imagine what it must feel to go from being in a system that prioritizes you as a male and then going all the way to a trans female, which is one of the minorities treated worst by society. Something that I remember that shook me very early on, maybe halfway into my first year up to maybe the first year. It felt like a really big change that I wasn't expecting at all. I hadn't even thought about happening. And that's the social transition you experience. I think for me especially, but a lot of us, because we're here, we are perceived as male quite a lot pre-T, because we try so hard to fit into the cis heteronormative stereotype. A lot of us are very, very, different pretty and me personally I experienced the world as if I was already being perceived as male um, because I already felt male but I, I didn't realize that a lot of the time society wasn't actually seeing me as male yet and people were respecting me my friends were respecting my pronouns my name but actually society didn't quite see me as a male yet and I didn't realize that so at some point after starting T my voice started lowering first changes started around six months in to a year. I started passing as cis a lot more. People didn't realise I was trans straight away. A lot of these changes, because I wasn't expecting them, they felt very overwhelming initially. But then as I've got used to it, I've felt a lot more comfortable with them. But some of the biggest changes I remember feeling at the start was in, in casual conversation, in day-to-day -day talks with people, activities, uh, club nights, again, conversations. Um, I started to notice that uh, I started to feel that what I said mattered more. Uh, people cared more about what I said. Um, this was a very small change initially, um, but a constant change. Yeah, I just had this overall feeling that when I spoke, uh, what I said had more meaning, mattered more. People cared more about what I had to say. I felt more listened to in groups. Um, this was mostly mostly by men. I just had this overall feeling that I mattered more and what I had to say, what I was saying, it was more important. There is a slight ease and comfort to being perceived as male. Another big change was walking around at night. That, I mean, that's, that's an obvious one. I feel much more safe now. I used to have to think about where I was going, um, where I was going through, what time I was going. I used to have to be really aware at night of what I was doing, where I was going. But that's completely, pretty much gone away now. Although I'm a shorter guy, my concern for my safety is extremely lower. I don't really feel unsafe when I go anywhere. I don't feel risk. Um, not worried about my drink getting spiked. Uh, not worried about getting attacked. I feel that I can defend myself, which I didn't so much before. Just a general feeling of safety and comfort. Some of the negatives I've noticed is as being brought up as a female, I've had to be a lot louder about my needs and my wants in order for those to be heard. Whereas now that can be seen as more aggressive, more violent. That can be seen um, as it being too much. When a male does it, it's, it can be quite intense. It can be very intimidating. So some of the main negative I've experienced socially 
Um, for example, at night, I'm much more aware that I am more intimidating than I was before. I'm aware that when I approach people in the street, when I approach people in public, I can be perceived in a more aggressive or intimidating way. I'm actually grateful in a way that I was able to experience life for an amount of time as a female and now experience it as a male because I have awareness of situations that I wouldn't have awareness of if I was cis. I feel like this has given me an advantage in a way um, and it lets me navigate male spaces and female spaces in a more comfortable way for other people. I understand how as a male it might be hard to actually realise, oh, what I'm doing might be seen as intimidating, might be seen as scary. But yeah, these are some of my experiences. I'm sure I'll think of more as soon as I stop recording. Hey, so I'm back. So it turns out when I made this video, there's like this whole big chunk that I missed out. Um, I think I said that I'd probably miss some bits, but yeah. Another really big social change when it comes to transitioning from female to male. So there's this massive loss of community. I remember how strongly I felt this. And I can't believe I'm so used to it now that I forgot completely how much this impacted me at the time. This is what I talked about feeling really overwhelming at the time more than the other things. Women, women are there for each other, like women support each other. Because uh, in day to day, men a lot of the time kind of suck. Um, whereas women tend to not. That's the best way to put it really. I just remember like being a part of this really supportive, loving community and then suddenly I stopped being a part of it because I started passing as male. The male community is much less, feels much less supportive, much less loving, much less accepting. You feel a lot more like you have to put up a front, like you have to fit into this role to be accepted by the men. Whereas with women, you just feel loved and supported. This was actually one of the biggest changes I felt. Although I feel like it's a good thing in the sense that I'm now part of the community I should be in and I, I come with all this previous knowledge from being brought up as a female and I can input it into the male community and hopefully make it a little bit better, a little bit more supportive. I know a lot of men, a lot of the men around me, a lot of the men that are my friends are very much like that, very supportive, very loving people. Although Again, can't complain, I'm I'm so happy uh, being perceived as male, finally. But yeah, I remember how sad it felt to lose this really big, loving community that I felt a part of my whole life. Even once I discovered I was trans, because I was still perceived as female, I was still part of this support net. Make sure you've got nice friends around you, make sure you've got a good support system, people that love you and care about you, because out in the wild, again, uh, patriarchy is a thing and you kind of have to, you kind of expect it to play this part. You don't have to play that part, but sometimes it's scary not to play that part. You don't know how some men are going to react. You don't know how some men c can be with you. Whereas with women, it never felt that way. But that is a big change. Um, but again, it's not as dramatic as it sounds, like years in now, I'm used to it. I've luckily met really lovely guys, men that I actually get on with that are more on my level. And secretly, most men don't actually want to fit into this role that we're expected to play. For most men, it is just a front, and that's just not who they are. We all have emotions, we all get sad, we all feel. Uh, and it's just about having people around you that you're happy and comfortable with. That's really all that matters. Enjoy the rest of the video. So I think us trans men actually, in a way, have an advantage. Making people aware that there really is a big difference between how it feels to be female in this world and how it feels to be male in this world. And it's a massive difference. It's not even a little difference. It's a difference that shook, shook me a lot when I felt it. And it was overwhelming. There is all these expectations on men to be a certain way, to act a certain way by other men. So I felt I had to be a certain way to please other men, but I, I also had to be a certain way towards women to please other men because that's how they were being and that's what they were expecting. That's not how we should be. I don't think a lot of men even understand or comprehend the world of women and how men play such a big part in it. It's just about being aware that this exists and this is a thing 
and it's so 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 different to be a female in society than it is to be a male and it might seem obvious what i'm saying but so many men aren't aware of this as someone who's perceived a cis a lot of the time now in male groups the things i see the things i experience sometimes are horrible as someone who has been brought up as a female sometimes i'm disgusted sometimes i'm like how is this happening sometimes i don't feel like i can speak up sometimes it's intimidating sometimes it's not the right group but sometimes it's not like that sometimes i'm comfortable sometimes i feel like i can speak up sometimes i can teach and i can show this isn't okay what's happening right now this isn't okay men might not always agree might not want to see it but sometimes they do sometimes they learn i'm also still learning now that i'm living the rest of my life perceived as male there'll be things that i'll miss out on understanding fully because i won't have experienced them as a female the most i can do is talk to women understand women do what i can to help and the more men that try and make women more comfortable in our society to push women up in our society that help and want to understand the better this world will be for all of us if you've had any social experiences like mine or any that i haven't covered leave comments below tell me about them tell me what social experiences you've had that you weren't expecting and just remember this being so clear in my head because i didn't know it was going to happen I didn't realise that I'd be treated differently, which has shown me really how much worse women do have it because I've lived it. If you think of any other experiences you've had, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear about them. And I'll see you again in a couple of weeks for the next educational video.